And some more bad news for community leader Kendall Peterson. District Court Judge George Cannon has revoked Peterson's bail. Peterson has apparently failed another marijuana drug test. Judge Cannon told Peterson that he violated his conditions of his bail by not remaining drug free. Then he revoked the bail and then remanded him to custody of the Bureau of Corrections. It all started when Kendall Siegel Peterson announced his candidacy for Senate. Then the fish market was raided in Frederickstead. After that, his home was raided by federal and local authorities. Several marijuana plants were confiscated and Peterson posted a $10,000 bail. He now loses the bail money and he has to stay in jail until July 6th. And stay with us on News Channel 8. Your Caribbean report is up next. Welcome back, and now it's time for your Caribbean report for this week. The U.S. President Bill Clinton is to be named the U.N. Special Envoy to Haiti, a U.N. official said Monday afternoon, confirming the report carried by the Miami Herald Daily. The official, who spoke on condition of anonymity, said the formal announcement will be made at the U.N. headquarters on Tuesday. And three months after regulators shut down billionaire Alan Stanford's bank for an alleged $9.2 billion fraud, the colorful cricket mogul has yet to be charged with a crime. The wait has gone on so long that Stanford even tried turning himself in to federal marshals earlier this month. Stay tuned on News Channel 8 for more details on this exciting story. And finally, a powerful storm with the potential to acquire the latest from tropical characteristics is headed towards Florida. The AccuWeather.com said Monday morning. The U.S. National Hurricane Center said Monday afternoon that the area of disturbed weather formed over the eastern area of Cuba. And that's your Caribbean report for this week. And in lieu of the storm in the Florida area, be sure and stay with us on News Channel 8. June 1st is the opening of hurricane season. We'll keep you up to date on storms coming in the area and also where you can find the locations of the various hurricane maps for the 2009 season. And now, one of my favorite people, Yoko Loving, delivers some beautiful poetry for us. Here's News Channel 8's Wes Small and Yoko. Right, and now we are with Miss Yoko Loving, and you might remember last week we were with her and her husband, Glow Westerman, as uh, we were dealing with the boats, and don't forget his exhibit is still up in, what's the name of the gallery? Mafe Gallery. Yeah, Mafe Gallery, right, right on Company Street. Right, and I'm yeah. sure that you could check that out as they have the galley walk, the art walk every Thursday. That's a big thing on Company Street. Well, we're gonna get right to this because uh, Miss Winnie Oyoko Loving has been busy with her new book of poetry. It's the second one, and this is called Spontaneous. And yes. Well, this is great. Thank um, you. First of all, tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been doing poetry. Ah, uh, since the fifth grade, and <laughs> and uh, you've got to figure the fifth grade year. That's been plenty of years, <laughs> a million years. <laughs> yeah, just like your name, no, not a million. You're just like your name, loving. You spread a Thank lot of you. love around, and you. Thank you. You love this place, and I um, do. And before we get started, she's going to read a poem. This book is for everyone who loves the spoken word, and especially to two friends of mine. Um, Carol Papke and Hella Christensen. Also, Nina York dies for Smitten. So I'm going to read a little bit of Smitten okay. and not the whole thing because it's rather long. Okay. But it talks about St. Croix. And it starts like this St. Croix is no virgin. She's a woman of ways, a full blown tempest from the bloody days, a sizzling show of dreamy, sunstruck breasts sweltering and sweaty and swollen with nests of hummingbirds looming in her hair, a museum of struggle, rebellion, prayer. We're going to be at Cultural Creations on yes. King Street from 3 to 5 this Sunday, May 24th, for a book signing. And we're going to have beautiful spoken words and beautiful food and drink. And we get together for a couple of hours and really celebrate poetry and authorship, support one another, and have a little fun. Uh, at the same time. At the same time. And it's interesting because poetry is not dying. 
I no. noticed that uh, like Pier 69, yes. I noticed the uh, units at Pier 69 and some other places now have poetry readings. Yes. And that's it, it is good. I was there for the one for um, Valentine's Day, yes. and it was very hot, I must say. <laughs> I'm going to finish with Darling, okay. because I want you one to more. know that uh, if you get a feeling that something is wrong, don't discount the warning sign. If your gut is trying to tell you something, at least give it a listen. And these, this is how poetry starts with me. It's about reading the news it's about meeting you it's about talking to your cameraman meeting women children i taught school here for 30 years yes, right. and I, I can tell you a little bit about how the island works and there's so many people in here that have been interviewed or just observed by me and myself especially i write about myself that way no one can i can't get anyone else in trouble but me yeah, so yeah. But it, it explodes with feeling. There are, there, there's love poems, there are um, poems of sadness, nostalgia, regret, um, exploration, um, warmth, and also there's the other side. There's some sad poems too, but this spontaneous will be on sale Sunday at and thereafter at Cultural Creations. Spontaneous. Miss Winnie Oyoko Loving. I'm Wes Small for News Channel.